Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lonely 11 and I am back from my travels. I have picked up some lovely treats and I'll be showing you what I've got. Before I show you the product that I'm going to use, my hair is washed and deep conditioned. I have a leave-in conditioner in there. Now, reason being, when I do product reviews, I don't necessarily use a leave-in conditioner, but today I just decided I wanted to because my hair needed moisture. And I will show you the product that I'll be using today. It is this. You can get this over here in the UK. I picked this up in Target and it was for $6.99 and it's Miele Moisture Hawaiian Ginger and it says Moisturising Styling Gel. I did use this a little bit whilst I was out there. I don't know if the hold necessarily is what I'm used to but I'm going to do a whole head application guys and we'll see how that goes. First ingredient is water, lovely. Second ingredient is glycerin. So I'm gonna start off by just spritzing my hair and applying the gel. The spray bottle I also collected from Sally's and it was $8.99 I do believe. Slightly pricey but I've been wanting one of these for so many years and I just can't find them over here in the UK. So I decided to pick one up and it's the 360 spray. If you're not familiar with this, I'm sure, I think I've seen it on Amazon but just check the reviews beforehand guys because I don't think some of them were that great but just give you a heads up. In the meantime, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and carry on with this video. Hey guys, this is what I've got so far. I'm actually quite impressed. I wasn't expecting this. I thought the strands were gonna be more frizzy, but um, I'm actually liking this. I do feel like I'm gonna get a lot of shrinkage. I don't know why, I just just do. But I'm gonna carry, the rest, carry on with the rest off camera, guys, and I will come back to you. All right, guys, so I will see you in a sec. Hey guys, so these are the final results. Well, final as in I've applied the gel. It's not dried at all. Still wet. See, this is the thing, when I apply different gels, I usually get the same type of look, unless it's a really watery gel, I usually get the same type of look. It's the end result, meaning once my hair's dried, is usually the thing that makes me decide whether I'm going to use the gel. At the moment, I do like this gel. It feels a little tacky to apply. It's a little bit watery, and some areas I did have to reapply because I got a bit of frizz in, but then I reapplied it and it seems to have stuck together a bit more. Okay, I'm just going to show you the back. I'm sure this looks like my usual wash and goes, but as I said, the end result, the dried end result is what we're waiting for, isn't it? So I like the way it feels so far. It's light, it's got a beautiful ginger fragrance. So we're just gonna have to come back and see what my hair looks like once it's dried. All right guys, so keep on watching. Hey guys, so this is the next day, the next morning I should say. So I done my hair yesterday afternoon and this is how my hair has dried. I've done nothing different than what I usually do, going to bed. I usually put my hair up in a pineapple, sleep on a satin pillowcase. I've done that and these are the results. I don't know if you can see it, but my hair is very shiny, very nicely defined, but I do have an issue with this. Not a major issue, but it's not basically how I'd like my hair to be. So basically, the hold is a bit too lightweight for me. As you can see, my hair is quite fluffy. I didn't crunch out any cast. It literally just, I suppose, rubbed out overnight. But for the cast to be rubbed out, the end results are now this. So I've got quite a bit of dry parts and frizzing. I've got some frizzing hair. 
And these are usually my trouble areas. I usually like to use a good strong gel that can manipulate these bits enough to uh, want to stick together. So I don't enjoy this frizz in here. And that's because the product is quite watery for me. And as you can see, like more frizz in here. Usually this is super defined. I like the definition, but the clumping is pretty much non-existent, if you can see that. I didn't think I was going to have a lot of shrinkage because as it started to dry my hair was still hanging but I suppose as the cr cast crunched out it started to shrink up and become a bit more bouncy so if you do like this look I mean I'm not saying not to go ahead and try it and I'm I wouldn't not buy this product again but um, it wouldn't be my go-to okay um, for my edges it definitely wasn't a good edge edge control type gel because obviously again because of the the moisture in the product it was a bit too watery for my edges so and all it's done is made them coil up quite tightly you know so let me just quickly show you the back and i feel in this section at the back i feel that it's kind of flat and then this bit just puffs out no, i don't like that i don't i like it to be uniform so either flat or puffy all round so i think what i'm going to go ahead and do guys i've got about this much gel remaining, not a lot at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on a dry part. So maybe just section my hair and do it into. Okay, so before I go, I'm gonna say about the smell. It's got a really nice, I love this smell. It smells like a bubble bath, like a gingery bubble bath. And it doesn't just smell like ginger, it smells like it's got something else in there, but it smells very exotic. And as it says, it's Hawaiian ginger. As in regards to flaking, it did have a bit of flaking, not major. Uh, I'm not really a fan, unfortunately. I was really hoping to like this one. And it does say to use with their oil of this brand, but um, I think it would, it would just make my hair even more undefined to add another coating of liquid onto my hair. So anyway guys, I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna put some more on, I'm gonna come back to you, see how it turns out, might stretch it a little, I'm not sure, and then I'll come back to you with the end, end results, guys. Okay guys, so these are the final, final results. I am really not thrilled about the end results, just because I don't feel that to get my desired look, I should have to apply a product about three times. Even once my hair's dried, I'd just like to apply it once, have it styled and go. I don't want to have to then redo it and then try and manipulate it again. I've stretched it out, but as I was stretching it out, it started to get puffy again and dry and undefined. So I had to add more product and I've just had to leave it wet now. Um, my hair's starting to feel quite sticky and tacky because I suppose the amount of applications I've got on my hair. The gel is now finished. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be repurchasing this one. This is a shame because I was hoping that it would work and I, was, I wanted to like this one. But that doesn't then mean that I won't then purchase other products from that particular line. I'm still quite intrigued to try the other products in the line, like styling creams and leave-in conditioners and what have you. I'm not writing it off completely yet, but as for this gel, it's a no for me. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in purchasing this product, just to try it yourself, I have left the product details down below. So I will see you on Thursday with another American treat. And uh, that is it. Have a good one. Bye.